have to know what the ducks are now. Like, I, I can't continue. Most of the time, uh, your program runs fine and it gives you an answer, but the answer is not what you thought it should be. That's kind of where, like, programming is kind of different than English, for example, because in English, like, if you write a sentence, somebody else can interpret it however they'd like. Like one example we give to students is the chicken is ready to eat. What do you think about when you when I say the chicken is ready to eat? Well, I'm a vegetarian. I assume the chicken wants to eat his food. I enjoy meat. So <laughs> my take on that is uh, I have a chicken <laughs> yeah. on the table and I'm going to eat it. Right. right? So there's two interpretations <laughs> to that. But when we write code, there's only one way to interpret that piece of code that is written. Obviously, the program is the one who's wrong <laughs> because the computer is merely following the algorithm, the set of instructions, and there's only one way to follow those instructions. And then I bring out this big box of ducks and I say, well, uh, programming is actually kind of creative because oftentimes the solution to a debugging problem is just to take time away from it and then potentially explain exactly what you're you think the code is doing to someone who knows absolutely nothing about programming. Oh. It could be you. Yes, I'm available. <laughs> or it could be a rubber a du duck. Oh. So this is called rubber ducky debugging oh. because uh, it's an inanimate object that yeah. doesn't know anything about programming. Right. And it forces you to scrutinize every single line of code that you wrote, even ones you think are oh. correct. Kind of like, like, where did I put my glasses, uh -huh. right? And you spend a long time looking for them and they're on top of your head. Yep. It's that, that exact feeling. It's like, where is that error coming from? And it's going to be something super simple. And if ducks are not your thing, there are frogs oh, and, the and pig. pigs. Of course, of course. <laughs> to explain it to yeah. them.